hazard rating, and the River Street tree scored a 7 out of 12. This rating is based on decay, um, the site of where the tree is, what kind of hazard it could pose, as it being a roadside, intersection, sidewalks, things like that. Um, and they take into consideration the size of decay, the size of the compromised structure, the crown of the tree, things of that nature. Um, <clears throat> both the trees are white ash, and uh, they tend to be more prone to structural damage, um, e easier um, the decay setting in, and uh, they, they're both in rough shape. Um, especially of the two, obviously, the 9 out of 12 score on 290, that has two-thirds of the base is compromised. Um, and the only way to, to, there's no corrective action for a compromised base of a tree other than removal. The other tree, the River Street tree, was um, a 7 out of 12. And the decay was in the crown. But to eliminate the decay in the crown, you would have to subsequently prune the entire crown of the tree out, which obviously would lead to you know, um, eventual uh, failure. Um, so I, I recommend to take both trees down from the tree warden standpoint. And I'm not just going to do that with you guys. All right. Um, Mr. Roach, this is in your neck of the woods uh, more than the rest of us. What say you starting us off? Any questions for? No, I'm just curious. What do you think the age of the, those trees are? Any idea? It's hard to say. Um, they're definitely not as old as most people usually. People usually look at trees and they think, oh, my God, this yeah. is 100, 150 100 years. Year. Yeah. Years. I, that most of them are. Usually yeah. street trees like that are um, 60 to 80 year range. Um, just kids. <laughs> as far as trees go, I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely, you know, and, and especially them being ashes. Ashes was a tree planted kind of post-World War II time. Um, there's a lot of shade tree history of when trees were typically planted, and a ash and Norway maples were typically very popular post-World War II. Thank you. I have no questions. Lee? Oh. Joe? They're in pretty bad shape. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would agree um, as well. Uh, I've seen that that one uh, near um, uh, the windmill. Um, uh, was wondering when that was going to come down and, and do some damage. Um, the one on Main Street. Uh, well, uh, while we're talking about Main Street. Um, there are a couple of other uh, trees that I've noticed along Old Main. One of them is sort of tucked off, uh, and all all it's all it's left is are just sprouts yeah. and, and suckers. Um, a, a run, that it's only it's topped off just about the, the height of cables. Uh, it looks like it was cut years uh, ago. And Tom, we're in a public hearing just on these two trees, though. Yeah, I, I apologize. All right, you're, you're, just, right. you're right. You're getting free advice here in a public yeah. hearing. <laughs> yeah. but I was just curious about the other the, the other trees that I saw. Sorry. Right. Well, Michael, right. don't go anywhere after the public hearing. <laughs> uh, to meet outside. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to keep it within the, the purview of what we got here. Um, do you have any comments or questions? We did receive one um, public comment from Bob Churchill in support of removal of the tree at 86 River Street. Yeah, but it's from Bob Churchill. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Hello, <laughs> sir. Hello. <Hey>. Ouch. <laughs> uh, did um, any, any other comments? That's that the only comment I received. Um, it did go out to the um, different public boards and committees as required, and I received no comment. Okay. Um, just one question: Did you get any feedback from anybody on the um, nine out of twelve on the uh, on the first tree? I know uh, Mr. Churchill was nice enough. Nobody, nobody responded on the other one. No, no. We, on the seven out of twelve. You're talking about the River Street tree. Yeah, no, the River Street tree. I think was the one you did get conversation on, correct? Oh, yes. And then, um, but no. the other tree, you got no correspondence from anybody saying nothing. Nope, about nothing it. else. Okay. Call for a motion to uh, empower this gentleman to do his duty on these two trees. So moved. Second. second. I'm sorry, who moved and who seconded? Thank you and thank you. We're all in the same vocabulary area, you know, <laughs> monotone and pitch. <laughs> well, I think it's four people say it at exactly the same time. It's hard to differentiate. Yeah. 
Uh, seeing a motion, uh, call for vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstained. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. What I'll do is I'll write a letter documenting this that gets clocked in with the town clerk, and then I will send it to you and to Rick. Thank you very much. Thank you. Probably coming down tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh boy. Yikes. I'm sure to clock it in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm very concerned about the old. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, thank you. We have an approval not required. Keep the public hearing open on this, I guess. Oh, well, yeah, we got to close the public hearing. Yes, I was kidding. I was hoping Jim Saban was here. Um, <laughs> I need a motion to close the public hearing. So, so moved. moved. Second. Tom Roach, seconded by Lee. <laughs> All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, next up on our dashboard we have uh, ANR 2591, uh, an applicant coming before us for West Yarmouth Road. Uh, Mr. Switzer, are you handling this one? You are. Step up to the mic, sir. a parcel of land on West Yarmouth Road directly across the street from Constance Avenue. It was uh, part of a seven lot subdivision that was done for NAP, K-N-A-P-P -P Realty Trust back in the early 80s. This particular lot uh, had a little bit of title problem to it and they have finally resolved the title problem and large enough to be divided it has more than adequate frontage. Uh, the road is a uh, is a town road, and I can remember in the uh, winter of 1975 driving the stakes in so that that road could be paved in February. <laughs> yeah, where the power lines are. Um, Joanne, any comments, questions? We got to start with the lovely lady. Uh, Mr. Barron, any questions? No, no questions. I happen to know that the owner, uh, the Risleys, uh, also are my neighbors on Geneva Road. In other words, they own they own two two parcels within town, and and this large parcel was was one of them. Okay. Wish I'd known that in the future, in, in advance. Um, but uh, since this is almost like a uh, no harm, no foul, okay. Are you, are you inquiring whether he needs to abstain? Uh, well, normally, if it's a neighbor, someone he knows, it's uh, it's it's better to do so, especially if we all watch that. Yes, uh, I, I I fully understand. Uh, I've had no conversations with the neighbor. I, I just happen to know that um, they had this parcel. Okay. Again, it's it's nothing overly it's caught me off guard. Uh, Lee, do you have any comments, questions? Um, no, Mr. Chairman. Norm, looks straightforward to me. Yeah, pretty clean. Same here as well. Okay, Kathy, any comments? I have no comments. Seeing none, hearing none. Calling for a motion for A and R two five nine one. A. No motion. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to recommend the Planning Board make a motion to endorse A and R plan. 2591A, dated February 4th, 2019. Do have a second? Second. <coughs> Good. I'm perfect. That was gorgeous. <laughs> Great. All, Great all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstained. There we go. Yes, one abstained. Uh, you can stay on it? Good. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. All right. I will sign that in. You can sign the mylar and he can be on his way and then we can sign copies of the other hard copies after. Uh, At least the six. Piece of land. Thank you, Robert. I don't know how quickly you want to <laughs> fold it on up. They dry pretty quick. Thank you very much. No problem. Yeah, Say hi to Ms. Marion for us. It will do. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, That's oh, an R40. Okay. Oops, excuse me. 
right on to yesterday's highlights. I'd like to thank the uh, board members for attending last night. Uh, it was very nice. It was a little later than you probably thought, so I'm very grateful for you staying. Um, let's just tackle these. It's my understanding, and if I'm wrong, let me know, that for the first time in, I guess, in publication, I don't remember an explanation being in the warrant with every bylaw. This is new since I've been here. Okay, so They want a very, sh very short synopsis. You can do more at the town meeting, but they just want to give people a very brief overview. So, um... That was my attempt. These are, uh, we all have our assignments of which ones we want to do. Um, <coughs> I'll leave it up to you if you want to go with what Kathy has or boil it down or, or do what you will. I got a get out of jail free card. You did. Because yes, when we get to did. boat storage, we'll talk about it. <laughs> but um, for the rest of you, uh, Kathy, as you know, has done a marvelous job. If you want to put it in your own language, feel free. Feel free. Just we have to have a date to it. When do you need it back from anybody here? Um, I guess if I could have it in a week, that would be great. Just be very thoughtful in the edits because it does need to go into the warrant. We don't want to oversell or undersell. <coughs> no, I Facts, ma'am. And if it's okay, just, just let her know either yeah. tonight or, you know, in an email saying what you have is fine. You're okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Which one were you? Which one were you, Tom? 43. 43, okay. So Tom, <coughs> okay. Okay. And anybody, and anybody else, if you want to let her know, that would be wonderful. Um, why don't we, since we're moving down the list, why don't we go to article number 42, boat storage. Um, did everybody read? Mr. Grills, uh -huh. <coughs> email. Did it make sense? Made, it made sense to me, Brad. That, yeah. You know that based upon what uh, went on at the selectmen's meeting last night, that we uh, probably withdraw this from the yeah. from the warrant and uh, continue to work on it. I agree. I think it's a smart move on our part and Mark's part as well. So people who don't know Mark, um, just at home, <laughs> had written a, um, an email to the planning board basically based on the Board of Selectmen's vote to not recommend last night and some of their concerns they had with long-term storage um, on residential lots um, to just, he was fine, wanted to let the board know that he was okay because he did bring this before the board, that he would be perfectly fine with you guys withdrawing it. Um. Uh, part of me thinks that we could have had a four to one vote for the Board of Selectmen to recommend and then let the town meeting people yeah. take a swing at the pinata and see what they like one way or the other. But just kicking it down the road for a year doesn't hurt. Actually, it'd be more than a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, if you didn't watch last night, we're, we're being moved to October. So um, Does that take place at the end? I'm sorry. Did, did the decision to? They they let us know when they were we were sitting down. I said you know, and they said uh, more of your melodic tones will be heard in October. That was Eric's. Eric got hyped. I got a set of pipes. I guess he's jealous of my voice. I don't know. Um, but I <coughs> guess that was we were letting know that we're going to now be in October. So I don't think we've got much on our plate um, coming up. So is it is it a different warrant then? So. None of these articles are in the May warrant. No, they're, this is this is May. But our next meeting is oh, an official oh. planning board. Well, oh. if we're in front of town meeting, unless something gets um, brought up by a petitioner, is going to be October of 2020. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. 2020. <laughs> I thought, not I thought 2019. you meant 2019. Right. It's 2020. 2020. Yeah, yeah. 2020. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're having a fall town meeting this year or not. Yeah, we are. Yeah. They are, well, they I think it's mostly going to be. Wastewater related wastewater, yeah. and DPW building <coughs> maybe related. We um, Are we still going to have to represent these articles in May? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then uh, we all go on a long cruise and come back in September of 2020, and we're ready for October. <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so the sense is we won't be presenting. We'll withdraw the article on on both. I storage. don't think it's even be put in the warrant. Great. Because the warrant hasn't yeah, been published yet. That's great. So uh, it's just not going to come up. I think it reflects um, a sort of a good thing. We're listening um, and paying attention to 
um, what some people have fairly strong opinions about, and we knew there were some issues with it. Trying to craft all the the best um, ways to address this was never going to be easy. So we'll leave it on the books the way it is. Um, but my question would be for those um, boat owners: Is there always the option to go to the zoning ZBA yes. and say, mm. "Look, there is no land." on either side of my house, or there is whatever the constraint yep. might be for a camper, yep. for any kind of an RV. There's always the option that an individual could go to the Zoning Board of Appeals and, and <coughs> receive a variance. variance, which the tests are much higher for that than a special permit. Right? Correct. And, and but it, it is, is subject to be notified. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and from what yeah. I've uh, experienced so far uh, with the ZBA, um, everything is everything is laid out as to all the details of how that it, it's not just opinions, it, it's it's right. facts and figures uh, and so there's a lot of information that is discussed and uh, once the decision is made, um, it's it's it, it's it's um, it, it, it's permanent <laughs> in, in those cases. So, uh, but each one is handled on its own merits. No, I, I understand, but a variance, the test for variance, for those at, at home, a right. test for variance is it's much tougher. higher Correct. and more stringent yeah. than merely requesting a special yes. permit. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And more easily appealed. But, but people do. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They do. Um, we don't know if any people have done it for recreational vehicles or boats or do not. No. Campers. campers. We don't know whether or not they have. I knew you were going to say campers. Um, I'm just well, the existing bylaw is, is kind of kind of clear on that uh, right now. So uh, uh, this would have been, this would have been a change uh, only for the boats. Oh yes, yeah. <coughs> I think it would be good to get a vote if you guys want to withdraw it because mm -hmm. the last vote we had was to recommend. So. Oh, okay. That's probably a good idea. I just thought it was going to be killed on its own. Um, I haven't done that in a while. I'm a little rusty. Uh, okay, since I'm the one, I make a motion to withdraw. Uh, go into draw support. Withdraw them. 42. Draw the bylaw. Um, draw the amendment. Oh, withdraw the proposed the zoning amendment. Um, I make a motion to withdraw the zoning amendment, Article Number Forty Two, Boat Storage. Second. Second. Shoot, haven't done that in a while. Um, call for vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just in your packets, if you picked it up, you got a black and white copy of Article Thirty Nine slides. Um, they were blue and very colorful. If you didn't see them at home <laughs> or on TV, very nice. Um, they were quite handy. Uh, we also have a fact sheet, frequently asked questions, that's yep. being made up by um, yep. the powers that be upstairs, and that'll be ready for handouts to help Tom and the rest of the planning board with article number uh, 39 uh, on May 4th. Um, so that's it. Good. Meeting minutes. I'm getting behind, but you do have one set. I do have, I'm sorry? I said I'm getting a little behind, but you do have one set. Ah, thank you. You're going to have all those months to catch up until October 2020. I'm kidding. I know you have a lot on your plate. Uh, minutes for February 27th, 2019. Uh, I make a motion to accept the minutes of 227.19 as presented. Second. You beat me to it, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstained? Abstained. Thank you. That's uh, 501. Which one was that? Board of Appeals we got from, we received, excuse me, uh, from Kyle. Uh, that was quite a, a list all the way down. Mm -hmm. uh, committee updates. 
Joe, I'm gonna always look to you first because you are on the one that takes up the most time, I, I have to admit. What can you report on the capital budget? Uh, we met with the uh, Board of Selectmen um, and made our presentation on recommendations. And there was a fairly lengthy discussion with regard to uh, the free cash uh, proposal that we, a recommendation that we had made as part of our capital planning. We had suggested, recommended, and it was on the free cash uh, element uh, uh, listing <coughs> for the Department of Natural Resources to receive funding for a once every 10 year uh, permit for dredging and um, beach erosion. It's once every 10 years. It's a, it's a permit that's comprehensive. It covers ev almost everything. Um, and we thought that was a more appropriate re um, uh, reallocation from capital to free cash. But that in turn, because it was considered a capital recommendation on the use of free cash, the Board of Selectmen turned to us and asked, well, what do you think about the rest of the free cash? <laughs> oh. So we met again yesterday to review the free cash items that appeared to be capital in nature. And we reviewed those and had department heads with us. Um, Jeff Colby was there, um, and Dick Court in particular were the primary and um, our head of um, IT. Uh, and we reviewed those projects and um, as, as well as uh, um, ones that we had not recommended that appeared on the free cash list. Ooh. <laughs> so. Tangled web here. Yes, <laughs> what tangled webs we weave. Um, and that happened to be at the Senior Center, a project <laughs> for improvements to the bathrooms at the Senior Center and <clears throat> increasing um, and improving them, but also adding to them in the, in the, in the, um, in the world of senior centers now, there is a standard, a best practice of having a companion bathroom where it's a unisex um, um, uh, location where if an elder comes in and is accompanied by someone who's with them fairly regularly and needs some assistance, there could be a separate private companion uh, allocation of space in the, in the senior center. Um, our reasoning behind um, uh, not approving it for this cycle was that it, it was not yet ready for, time, for prime time players. The plans had changed several times. We didn't know there was a companion um, bathroom and then there was a companion bathroom. Anyway, uh, Dick Court advised us yesterday that new plans from the architect retained by the town <laughs> were just developed yesterday. So all of this leading to further discussion yesterday about the senior center and the allocation for $80,000 on the free cash list for a project that the capital budget committee had rejected. Other discussion was regard to, they really were capital projects that were never presented to us that appeared on the free cash list. Mm. We never saw them. So there's a bit of intrigue and, and uh, some, but complete, I, I shouldn't say intrigue, it's not correct. There is complete transparency, and I think that's important. No one is trying to move things around and play, you know, kind of three card Monty here. Everything was transparent. It was it totally just seems like it, it's transparent but after the fact. Af <laughs> yes, or that things seem to develop after the fact. And with all due respect to the department heads, you know, they start this project, this process in August. Mm -hmm. And maybe back in August, they, it wasn't on anybody's radar. But as we questioned further, we realized that, oh no, these things have been, we've been thinking about this for a long time, kind of, I'm generalizing, of course. Anyway, there's some, in, some back and forth and we will settle on capital budget recommendations uh, because we're going back to the board for a final presentation answering their questions about uh, our plan, the free cash plan, 
and then further intrigue with regard to the regional school district and the requests they made of us and whether or not the capital outlay committee in Dennis has approved the same projects. Okay. So <laughs> let's, let's, let's stop there. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Let, let me just put it there. Okay. But nothing's final. Yeah. Uh, but we'll be coming back to the board of selectmen with our final recommendations in probably uh, a week or so. Like I said, she does have a full plate. That's a lot of stuff you've been working on. There you go. <coughs> uh, Lee, do you want to tell us anything? <coughs> there's, there's really nothing to talk about as far as the wastewater, right at this point. All right. Uh, CEDC is still working a bit on the budget, but it looks like uh, we have some CPA funds in the neighborhood of three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars for twenty twenty, um, and. We we're also looking at all the event things that we sponsor to bring people into Yarmouth. And we may, I think we're gonna put a, a, a cap on it and that's gonna be it. I think we're gonna you know, hold people's feet to the fire. We're definitely going to make a comment in there that none of these funds can be used for police details, fire details and things like that because it seems like the more money we give the higher the bill is for, <laughs> for you know, fire and police. <laughs> so that really doesn't bring people to town. I'm not saying they're not important, but they, you yeah, know, the tourism fund. But that shouldn't be the use of those funds. Agreed. Those funds should be used to mo mostly for marketing. That's that's our our general goal there. Um, so that was basically it. I think we did we did uh, send a uh, letter to the. Uh, uh, Board of Health in regard to vapor cigarettes and, uh, and flavored cigarettes and then saying we were opposed to, you know, you know, shutting that down, those sales down in town. So, oh. because it will affect businesses. And we're the economic, we're the economic development committee, so we're more concerned with that. We I agree. It's not like we're an island and if you don't, you can't get it in Yarmouth, you've <laughs> got to travel to uh, North Dartmouth. It's just, you're going to North Dennis. Um, <laughs> Before I finish up with Mr. B, I'm going to go to Mr. R. No meetings. Uh, we haven't had any meetings um, for the trust and CPA, but um, Kathy, you might want to mention the interim use relative to Patrick McDonough and him yeah. going before the selectmen uh, last he, night. Yeah, last night he received, um, there's the Country Fest, it's going to be what, July 20th, 20th and 20? 21st, it's a Saturday yeah. and Sunday, um, and he did receive his entertainment and alcohol license uh, last night from the Board of Selectmen, um, so that is moving forward, and I believe he did get some tourism money for advertisement as yeah. well for that. Um, on, on that regard, the uh, CEDC also voted to use some of uh, the funds to uh, clean up the mulch and uh, the, the stones, uh, rocks at the, at the drive-in site to make it more usable. Thank you. Not, nothing further from, uh, from housing right now. Okay. Well, uh, correspondence? I think um, we've been sending them to you. Kyle sent we've out. Had, we've um, had full for the first time in a while. The, the course, yeah, you got a bunch of um, decisions today. I think that's, you got those. But, well, I'll um, tell you about the 25 or so uh, emails from the past few weeks. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah sorry. Um, but the correspondence that was received um, today and sent out was um, regarding the um, regional policy plan and the uh, guidance documents and that was approved on February 22nd. So that update has been completed. Um, I do know that they incorporated some of um, Yarmouth's comments in the RPP, which I very much appreciate. And I think they did try to look at and address um, a wide variety and wide ranging comments uh, into one document. So I think the next thing they'll be moving on to, um, based on what they said, was looking at the um, local comprehensive plan regulations, trying to ease that, maybe developing some type of templates, um, kind of pulling back on the um, analysis that the lengthy analysis, which can be uh, a bit difficult, and maybe also modifying how um, 
the process goes about approval. Right now you have to approve everything all at once and have one big giant public hearing. It's a little bit too much information um, to, to digest <coughs> all at once. And then they're also going to take a look at their enabling regulations, which takes a look at um, the thresholds for the developments of regional impact. And that would be something that would be very interesting, I think, um, for the planning board to get involved with all of those two. I just have one question. Any updates on the Parker River Bridge? Um, yep. We um, we had a meeting with MassDOT last week um, for a comment resolution meeting. There are still some outstanding items that we're trying to come to resolution on. Um, and MassDOT has been really trying to work hard with us. We have a lot of work we have to do in the next few months in order to put the project out to bid um, in mid-May so that we can open bids by July 1st. So it's a lot of work that needs to get done. It's kind of in the hands a little bit of the, um, the consultant and MassDOT and them getting a project that they both can approve. So they could possibly start late 19? It needs to start after by no later than after Labor Day. Um, in order to, to get everything done. Wow. Um, Probably like the Boar Bridger though. You, yeah. you only yeah. work in the fall and the spring and then. True. Exactly. That's the, it. The problem is, is you can't do any silt generating work <laughs> in the river, meaning you can't put the sheeting in um, from like January to June and then like September to October. I mean, there's literally very short That's amounts of time. Shellfish. And yeah. then you have the shutdown for um, road work uh, on Cape Cod on a, on a numbered highway so it's very tricky and that's why it's going to take a little bit longer with one half of the bridge being done one year and the other half being done so it's going to be a two-year project Ugh. so they'll have to construct that additional lane first right the first thing they're going to do is remove the sidewalk on the north side mm -hmm. um, and then move two lanes of traffic one in each direction to the north side while they work and basically create and generate this the south side they're not going to put in the sidewalk on the south side because then they're going to flip it and move the traffic to the south side while they work on the north side and then when that's done they'll have to come in on the end and, and fix um, the sidewalks and everything kind of the same staging that swan pond river bridge and right after 134 right? yes yeah. Yeah. so very similar yeah. yeah that worked out well yeah, that, that's terrific. Yeah, unless you're a salesman trying to make calls in that yeah. area and you're backed up by traffic. But that's another story. <laughs> okay. it's July or August. It's just exactly. Um, upcoming meetings, any extras? Um, We've got the 320 and the 443, anything? N no, I don't. I think now that we're not, I'll just let the um, town administrator's office know that and the board of selectmen that we're withdrawing the boat so we don't need to go back before them to discuss anything. So I think we're, I think we're good. Okay. Call for an adjournment. So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Here we go. Cool. If you could pass me a couple of these down, I just have to sign a couple of them and get you on your way. Take it forward. Yeah. And you still oh. have your record, Norm. <laughs> oh, well, I keep that for a long time. I think you can keep the minutes of the meeting last night, obviously, but I think most of you know, but maybe a few of you don't know. Yeah. The Board of Selectmen approved, um, they recommended the ADU bylaw, but they did want us to come back in the fall of 2020 and kind of give them an update.